All right, so we are starting our hand sewing unit and each table is going to have their own bin that you're sharing with everybody at your table. It will be equipped with a minion with pins in it and your hand sewing needles. Do not lose these hand sewing needles because it's the only ones we have. You'll also have some thread and you'll also have scissors. These are fabric scissors. These right here that are not in your bin are paper scissors. There is a big difference between the two. Uh, today you are going to be given a hand sewing pattern. First we're going to cut this out with paper scissors and then we're going to cut two of these from fabric pinning and using fabric scissors. So go ahead just and start out with just cutting out your pattern piece with paper scissors. I cut this out with paper scissors. There is a reason why you should not use the fabric scissors on paper. Uh, it dulls the scissors and it ruins them. So we're done with paper scissors because we're no longer cutting with paper. Now we're gonna use our fabric scissors and our pins. So you're gonna put your pattern piece on the fabric and you're gonna put it close to an edge because we don't wanna waste fabric. We're going to pin the corners first, making sure our pattern piece is flat and our fabric is flat. So corners. You go into the fabric, into the pattern piece, and back out. So into the pattern piece and back out through the fabric as well, so it's attached. So now you pin every three fingers all the way around. So we'll need one pin here and here, and we'll need two pins on each side. So one pin, one pin, and two pins. Remember, you're sharing your minion with your group mates, and you don't use the hand sewing needles as pins. We only use those to sew. So you use the ones that have little balls on the end. And the way you pin on the sides is you pretend like this is a street, and these are your street lights. So the balls are the light, so your street lights need to stand up. So you can see that the point is always facing the cutting line. All right, so now we're going to cut with our scissors. These scissors are designed to lay flat against the table, so you're not supposed to cut up in the air like this. You take your fabric, you lay it flat against the table, and you cut with your fabric on the table. I like to cut on the left-hand side because it makes it easy for me to grab onto the fabric with my left hand. So fabric on the left, pattern piece on the right. And you wanna to try to cut as perfectly as you possibly can. Now, it doesn't matter 100% while you're hand sewing a sample, but if you're making a project, if you don't cut accurately, your project doesn't work. All right, we have one pattern piece cut out. So you're gonna do this two times. You'll have two of them. Okay, so when you're finished, you're going to take your fabric scissors. You're gonna put them back in the bin because we're gonna use them for the next few days. You're gonna take your two pieces of fabric that you've cut out and you're going to put them together. We're gonna write your name on a post-it note and you're going to pin it to the fabric. Uh, make sure you put all the pins back in your minion, stick your minion in here, and also stick this in the bin as well. So everybody in the group is going to stick all of this into the bin. Then you're gonna take your fabric and you're gonna fold it up nice and neat. We don't need these little scraps. You're gonna fold it up nice and neat and you're gonna give it back to me. And then we'll have a nicely cleaned workspace. We'll do this every single day that we sew. We'll clean up after ourselves and put everything inside this bin. Uh, your pattern piece, you can also put it in the bin just in case we need it again. And that is everything. It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. But when we are apart, I feel